Pom, 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 pom. Hi there, this is Jim the Keys bartender coming to you from Key Largo. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to have um, Steve from Key Largo Comics. He's been on the show a couple times. I'm going to give him a call right now. Um, this episode's called Stay the Fuck at Home. Let's see if we can get a hold of our friend Steve right now. It's 6 30. Let's see. I did the episode yesterday. Hey. Hey. Hello, Steve. Yes. You there? Yeah, can you hear me? I'm going to have to turn up your volume there. Pump up the volume. You hear me? One second. Oh, you're on speaker? Uh. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to figure out the speaker. That's all right. Steve, uh, we're practicing a little social distancing. Steve's my neighbor. He's from literally a stone throw away, less than uh, 80 yards yeah. from my house. But you have can to. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can kind of hear you now, yeah. Okay. What are you on? Uh, iPhone. iPhone, okay. Yeah, for some yeah. reason, when I'm using Skype and something like that, I don't really have a. Even though you're going to come out plenty loud on the show. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to start this show with... Thank you to Chris wait, hold on. Franklin for the... I'm going to pause. My dad sent this video yep. of me, um, of, to me. And uh, I'm going to play this for you. Have you heard this guy yet? No. The song is called Stay the Fuck at Home. Listen up. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Lyrics. Can you hear this? The yeah. world has caught a virus, so I've written you a poem. We need your help to cure it, so stay the fuck at home. And if you have got 12 kids or you're living on your own, lock it down and isolate and stay the fuck at home. If you think you're not at risk here, you're living in a dome. It spreads faster than a hooker's leg, so stay the fuck at home. I need the gym, I need the beach, I hear you bitch and moan. You need to grow a brain cell and stay the fuck at home, but I feel fine. I don't feel sick. I'll go out on my own. I'll th Wait a second. You, you selfish prick. Please just stay the fuck at home. From LA through to Berlin, from Wuhan to to Rome, there's people dying every. Wait, hold on. Every day, so stay the fuck at home. If you need to contact family, use Facebook, Skype, or phone. We got the fucking internet, so stay the fuck at home. The only way to slow it down is isolate, not roam. Please help the world get back on track and stay the fuck at home. Stay the fuck at home. Stay the fuck at home. Don't you be a fucking dick. Please stay the fuck at home. <laughs> stay the fuck at home. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, my dad Your sent dad me that. You that. My, my, that is my, awesome. My, yeah, my my uh, seventy-nine-year-old father. The guy looks like David Letterman. The guy that um, that's why I posted it. Uh, if anybody and your mom can listen to the show live. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're on. Very we're on cool. the air right now. Wow. And so, um, so you like that one, huh? That's pretty good. Okay. Well, that's a viral sensation. No uh, pun intended. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, I did a, a show yesterday, just me, but I was just saying that we were practicing social distancing, even though we are literally 80 yards away. Uh, that's right. Two streets, though. We have to go down two streets. There's like 30 yards down one, and you're 30 yards up another, and I'm but right. if we go straight across those streets, you're back, you're maybe 80 yards away. And, That's right. Uh, yeah. So just through a couple backyards. Yeah. So I was thinking how great advice that uh, song was. And today um, 
I don't, I had, one of my next door neighbors has a, a, a daughter who's 15 or 16. And right. uh, she, she has a bunch of boys come over. One of the boys has a mask on, right? Oh. And they all get into two cars and take off going someplace. Oh. I gu guarantee you they're not pa practicing any social distancing wherever they're going. Probably right. some stupid ass party. And I'm uh, later on in the show, I'm going to talk about caring for people that are less fortunate and things like that. But yeah. I, I don't know what to do. If anything would happen to those neighbors, I'm like, I hate to say I don't give a fuck because they're doing the opposite of shit. You know, there's cars coming in and going to their house and shit like that all the time. I mean, right. it's, it's going to be... I, I, yeah, and and I imagine there's there's not a lot of listeners uh, on this show that, uh, that they're finally the people that don't believe in science have finally left the show. They're not listening to it yeah. anymore. They get all pissed off. I remember last year some guy was telling me I I needed to give uh, equal time to people that disagree with me. Oh really? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, he was, a, I mean, he wasn't, when I call him a racist, he was a racist because he used the N-word and all that shit. And he said that, and I yeah. said, I don't have to fucking do anything. And the guy got angry and right. started getting uh, heated. And, you know, he wanted to, he wanted to try to get physical, but he was a little, little guy. And I don't think it was that tough. So, you know, he where, was did, where did this happen? At the bar. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting there. I was sitting there. I was standing there, and he started talking to me. He said, oh, I like your show, blah, blah, blah. And then he started getting heated, talking further, further, further. And uh, and then I go, well, you know, you don't have to listen to the show. And he goes, right. you really tell me not to listen to your show? And I said, no. I said, if it's going to get you upset, you shouldn't listen to the show. Right. <laughs> I said, And he goes, well, why don't you have me on? I said, well, why don't you just start your own show? It's a, you know. It's free. Our country's free. You can go and do it and talk about whatever stupid shit you want to talk about. And right. Like I do. So um, <laughs> on, a, a, on a happier note, I got a message from a, a Lori uh, who um, she owned that restaurant in Key Largo. It's gone now called the Mindful Mermaid. Remember okay. That? I do. Yeah. Lori, Lori and Ed, uh, who are friends of the show. And they're moving out to California. And she sent me a message today. She goes, today, her daughter uh, sent her a, uh, a link to my show. Her daughter lives in San Francisco. And I guess she found us. She was looking for something for Key Largo. She found the Keys bartender. And she sent a link of the show to her mom, who's already a listener. So I guess that's a pretty, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm able to be found by anybody. But what I'm a little sad wow. is that someone didn't know if she's a fan of it, that the daughter, the daughter says she likes it and she wanted to get some more information on it. So whatever your name is or anything like that, please listen to the show. I'm happy to discuss whatever uh, you like to talk about. San Francisco is doing it the right way. They're real proactive. They're, they're uh, on the offensive attacking uh, this out in California. Um, right. Uh, the, the, the governor, Gavin Newsom and a lot of the state officials, they're, they're being sued now by the National Rifle Association for closing the gun stores. Um, oh, come on. Well, I mean, it's just what, I mean, I, I don't think right now they're going to have much, you know, leg to stand on right now. But, you know, it's not right. like they're trying to take guns away. They just want, it's, they're considering it's not a necessary, it's not like food. Sure. Or, and they, but, I mean, liquor stores, they, they keep the liquor stores open. I mean, that's to keep people from uh, Thank God. going crazy and looting. So, I know. I mean, people would lose their minds if they couldn't, you know, get their beer. <laughs> well, what, what did you, uh, you and Lizzie, what, when uh, you're, you know, Lizzie works in the industry, so I know, and then you're yeah. working from home now. Right. So what did you do? Like, are you worried that the stores are going to close pretty soon or, or are you stocking up more <clears throat> than you normally would? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we're stockpiling. Um, you know, we'll, 
we'll grab two of something instead of one, you know, maybe. But, uh, I mean, we're not going crazy on the stockpiling or anything. I mean, you know, they have to keep the grocery stores open, right? I mean. Uh, you, you think so. they do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the um, What happened right now, uh, a friend of mine, uh, the people that, I, I don't want to say their names because they, but they bought 32 handles of Tito's um, last wow. Wednesday or not. So there was this past one, last Wednesday. They bought 32 handles yeah. of, of Tito's Whoa. for two of them. So, Damn. which I, mean, I guess if you wanted Tito's, but I think they're right now you're able to get, I mean, today the liquor store was open. I saw the guy. The guy with the raccoon hat, you know, seen on the meeting strip. Yeah. Yeah, the guy that does has the sign. He's a sign spinner. Yeah. He doesn't spin much. He sits in his chair and. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With look, liquor store open, and he's got a raccoon hat. Um, yeah. So yeah, and yesterday. Um, so and you, how about how about toilet paper? What what does Lizzie say? What what's your um, What's the level of toilet paper rolls you wouldn't go under? Well, I, I actually uh, went to Kmart about two weeks ago when this whole thing was getting started, and yeah. I bought two uh, two uh, two twenty four packs of packs. toilet paper. But so, I mean, we're still pretty good on that. But I mean, at some point, you know, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. You know, I mean, two twenty four packs. Know. Yeah. You should be all right for a couple months, right? Yeah, we should be okay for a couple months. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I, I'm I, thinking. I'm thinking there's going to be an in store in the next week or so. You think we're they're going right. to? All right. Back? We, we we have maybe. We may have. A, I got two girls with me. I got 14 rolls. Yeah. You know, and when you were when I was single, I I mentioned to someone a four pack, was a you know really stocking up for me. Right. I mean, I I don't four pack. I I might. Christ, I may be good for like six months. <laughs> and I didn't have the best diet in the world. It's not like I ate a shitload of fruit and and vegetables now. So right. I yeah. I understand. And and the girls explained to me that there's a um, there's something you know that women have to you know they need to, they got. I don't know reason to go into details. They use more paper than God. Right. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> and here I'm shy. I'd say anything. I just played a sh song to stay the fuck at home, calling someone. You know, <laughs> and I, I don't want to talk about that. But um, how about food wise? Do you, I, I mean, I, we got our, we have pretty much what we normally have. Yeah. And, and the Same nice here. thing about it is my girls are, uh, uh, Abby and Sky, they're eating leftovers now for a change. <laughs> today, today we're doing steak and potatoes. And Sky, who's a vegetarian, a pescatarian, we're going to do some right. fish now. But did you change any of your eating habits? Or well, we've been grilling out a lot more, just you know, because you can't go to restaurants, and uh, yeah. so we've. You know, we've been going, you know, we drove down to the pay fair. Have you ever been to the little pay fair? In Tavernier, yeah. Yeah, and we went down there last weekend, and they have they have a lot of stuff. They have lots of meat, uh, mm -hmm. steaks, uh, pork chops. So um, we've been getting stuff there to grill up and uh, been doing a lot of that. Yeah. Well... Uh, they, we've uh, been doing some takeout. There's still a few restaurants doing some takeout, so we've been doing a little of that too. Yeah, we're we're not doing any. We we didn't do much takeout before. We did, um, and then we didn't go to restaurants a lot either. So hasn't right. I'm uh, pretty. I've been cooking more. I've actually been baking more. I talked about that. I've been baking more at home. Uh, the, uh, the, have you noticed a change in the traffic uh, pattern? I was on the I was on the bike. I told you I bought a bike. To uh, yeah, and uh, I go down to my meetings. I go to and I mentioned I did a show yesterday. I talked about it. I go to AA. They have small outdoor meetings. Um, okay, where there's proper social distancing going on. Mm -hmm. I, don't, 
But, I mean, consider my fucking neighbor, when, you know, with the kids jumping in the cars and taking off wherever they're going to some house party. Right. You know, um, there was a, a – did you see uh, when the spring breakers were uh, down here and they were talking to him about the coronavirus? The guy said, coronavirus? I don't give oh, a yeah. fuck if I'm going to get – right? Oh, yeah. Well, they get went home, and I guess they sobered up, and now they're regret. They said, well – I do care about my grandparents and all this, you know, they, right. it took, it took them about a week and a half to regret that. Wait till like 20 years from now. Hey, yeah. you're that asshole, you know, that, oh my there's God. A, there's, there's, a, there's a new picture on, on Twitter today about uh, the beaches up in um, Duval and, and St. John's County. Mm-hmm. And there's still spring breakers all over the, all over the, all over the beaches up there. Oh, really? Didn't they, oh, the governor yeah. closed them? Not, not this, not these ones. It's uh, St. John's County, which is just, just south of uh, Duval County, I guess. And you, you, there's thousands of kids out on the beach today. Really? Yeah, DeSantis is blowing it, man. He's he's a he's a, he's a clown. He wow. needs to put a lot. To- well, Monroe County's <laughs> kind of stepping up on that shit. You know, with the Monroe's doing pretty good. You know, uh, but there's still flights coming into Key West from, uh, like, it's exploding. It's exploding in New York. And I realized, and I mentioned this on the, we've done three podcasts since it started, or four, since it really started, and things started locking down, that uh, we realize everyone's going through this and everyone knows to get the updates. So I'm not going to repeat those things, right? Right. But in New York has fifty uh, percent, but then again, New York's doing everything, right? Right. They're doing everything, and they're saying, uh, "Oh, there's so much in New York." Do you think we, what? Do you think it's just because we're not like we don't have a lot of tests down there? Yes. That, yes. That's Thank you. Low. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Yeah. Of course, they're right. they're the ones. They're the ones doing it, and people are, and, and what they're doing around them, like Rhode Island. So you heard rumors that people are blocking people from New York and all that stuff. And and sh- New York is in a magical state. There's tons of assholes up in New York, right? Yeah. But you know, there's tons of assholes down here in Florida too, and they're not being yeah. helped by the government. Isn't really doing much about it. This guy, you know, this. Uh, but DeSantis is blowing it. They're going to find out, you know with this Orlando shit, you know, the tourists, whatever the reason New York has 50, New York City has has 25% of the cases in the United States right now, New York City. Right. And New right. York State has 30%. And that's due to testing. Exactly. Uh, but there's other states like Texas, uh, Louisiana, it says New Orleans is going to be incredible. Like, they're going to do what, but, it, and it turns, as it turns out, uh, I have no idea what Monroe County was at 19 confirmed cases. Like I, like you said, how much right. testing has gone on down here? Maybe you test a hundred people. Yeah. You know, right. Once they get the test kits start coming out, this 45 minute test kits come out, then it's going to be a different thing. But you know, we're, we're, we're going to learn, we're going to know. And this, and we're going to learn from the States and the ones that, uh, we're still supposedly Florida's a little more ahead of the curve than Texas, right? When you say ahead of the curve, what do you mean? Ahead, not they're not ahead of the curve. They're not as far behind as Texas. Like there are states that aren't doing anything. Yeah, right. There are states that aren't aren't are, are doing are doing very little, and there are right. states that are taking it seriously. Um, I I. Re- I, I recall that a little bit of caution can go a long way, you know? Uh, right. I, I mean, years ago, they, uh, imagine this, if you, I'm going to make an analogy with, with people, um, when they started doing, uh, I'm going to make it, safety glass on windshields. Yeah. Right? Years ago, when they, sure. they used the windshields and people would die from, you know, they get in an accident, shards of glass come in there and something can get all cut up and they die from that if, if they didn't die from the impact injuries. Right. And then safety belts. Then mouth neighbor says, you know, and safe at any speed, 
You know, you got to put safety belts. If you put safety belts in, you're going to save a lot of people. You know, safety glass, safety belts, and and to this day, you know, yeah, we you know we do that. We got those automatic bits. You have to have the safety belts. And in Fenley, people see that. They see that that they have to um, not text when they're driving. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, today when I was riding my bike today, there was one of those propane trucks. And right yeah. in, in Key Largo, to my listeners, in Key Largo, they have, uh, we have maybe three traffic signals in Key Largo. I think, yeah, three traffic signals. One of them, wait, well, let me go through it. One of them's at a school, then another's at Tradewinds Plaza, and another one is down at the uh, CVS Walgreens. That's- and then correct. there's a pedestrian, yeah. and, and there's a pedestrian crossing light yeah. about a quarter mile north of the last traffic light as you go south. And what happens? It's it's kind of people aren't used to it, but what happens is you go up there and you hit the you hit the button. It starts flashing yellow. Then it starts uh, it starts flashing yellow, and, it's, and then it goes solid yellow, and then it goes solid red. And that's when people can cross the highway. Because right. people were getting hit left and right down there like crazy. It was, it was people were stupid, you know. They just get on there, get confused, and they get hit. And I hate to say that, you know, speaking all the dead. Well, today there's a woman waiting there, young woman. She's ready to cross, going. It doesn't matter. She's got. They, she was hitting the light at the northbound lane, and yeah. she waits the whole time. It flashes yellow, goes solid red. And then, you know, cars are still speeding up when it's yellow and stuff like that. And finally, it turns red. And a fucking truck, you just seen it lock its brakes. And you see it skid going, you know, all the, uh, the rubber's being burned when he, he's, he's just skidding, you know, bum, bum, yeah. bum, empty a propane truck. And I'm going, well, I'm going to slow down before it. I mean, I don't know what actually happens when a propane truck gets into a, a collision. Right. I think it's safe enough that I don't want to find out, you know. No. And yeah, if there's a pandemic going on, I don't want to be taken out by an explosion of a propane truck right. or hot air ballooning or a shark attack, you know? Right. Just some <laughs> random what occurrence. What was, did you remember, uh, what was it, uh, The Hangover? Yeah. Zach Galifianakis says, uh, I was thinking about grandfather. He died during World War II. And they go, sorry, yeah, skiing accident. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, if you said you died during, um, oh, my buddy died during Hurricane Irma. Alcohol right. poisoning, you know. So, <laughs> not gonna... so oh, what, what was the point? Yeah, so, you know, people not a adhering to the social distancing rules, not even adhering to stopping at a red light, you know. It's like you're riding down the road, people right. are, how can you be in a hurry now? They closed the highway. We got, yeah. what is it? I'm guessing we're at 25% ca- capacity normally. We got like one quarter of the traffic we normally have this time of year. Yeah, I agree. I well, mean, looks about right. Yeah. And um, I was thinking that, uh, you know, it, how, how could you be in a hurry? There's no roads out there. And now you go to stores are empty. You know, right. So. Another funny thing I go to, this, uh, this produce stand around the corner is run by Mexican people on Lime Street. Yeah, we go there. Okay. Yeah. And I go there, and there's this Mexican guy. He's wearing a, a Make America Great hat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's the, he works huh. there. He looks kind of like he's, you know, he looks like one of the healthy homeless, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I got, he's wearing a red hat. And I'm going, are you wearing that red hat so people don't bug you? Or are you <laughs> <laughs> are you wearing yeah. a red hat? Because, I mean, I think he's doing it so people will leave him alone. He's right. Trying to get, curry some favor with the people that are ready to put him into, uh, you know, ship him south of the border. I could be wrong. Yeah, I, know, I think there was a Curb Your Enthusiasm uh, episode where uh, Larry David was going around wearing a MAGA hat because he didn't want people to, he didn't want to, like, you know, 
don't engage with people. So yeah. he just wore a MAGA hat. Yeah, but <laughs> someone was going to sit next to him at a at a, um, at a restaurant at a counter. He put on the the MAGA hat right. and he just moved <laughs> to move away. You know that happens all the time. That happened in the bar too. Some people, you know, the people coming there, obviously the people that are comfortable talking about politics uh, are those people, and there'll right. be like a couple of them, and they go, oh, okay. So, uh, you know, right now those MAGA hats are being replaced, though. I saw a guy with a mask and a MAGA hat. With a what? A mask, a face mask. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so wait a second. Uh, I, I thought you guys thought it was a hoax. So what right. is, I don't, you know, what, um, what are you guys doing differently when you go out? Do you guys, um, you go to the store, who goes, do you both go out or just one of you goes out? Um, we both go, um, you know, I'll drive, uh, you know, we'll both go in the store. I try to like, obviously not touch anything and um, just, you know, wash our hands like crazy when we get home. I mean, I, you know, I, there's just no way around it. You know, you got to eat. So it's kind of a uh, little nerve wracking, but what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. You know, I, but, uh, um, there's a lot of single guys that probably don't have to change a lot of their hygiene habits because every time <laughs> they come home, I think they're probably going to the bathroom and, uh, they get a hand soap and they're working their unit, you know, all the time. So they're right. watching, you know, practicing. It's not, so, some guy mentioned, someone was talking about this. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess because of social distancing, you're not getting any. The guy says, I never really got any before. So, <laughs> and I, I go, well, I, I really wouldn't worry about it. But with this mask thing, the mask thing, um, I have a couple theories about the mask, uh, the effectiveness. Now, it, it, you, I heard mixed messages about using the mask. Right. Um, and I think they said that so people wouldn't buy them up. But if masks are sitting in stores and stuff like that, it's not like hospitals are buying them up. You figure hospitals would have all these things. Yeah. There should be tons of them. I mean, medical supplies. Um, but then again, you know, they don't, manufacturer like they used to uh years ago it's called just in time jit and yeah uh, people aren't maintaining a large stock inventory inventory yeah. yeah of items so they they would just order them as they need them um yeah which we see the fallacy of that in case of an emergency now uh but i mean how hard how hard is it to manufacture that i mean are we really is there, I mean, is there nothing in the United States where they, instead of making, there's got to be a bunch of places that make blouses and stuff like that. Hey, put those, or, you know, yeah. put those uh, uh, undocumented aliens to work and get them, you know, in your sweatshops. Make some masks. I just saw some, I just saw some story come across Twitter this morning about a big company up in the, uh, New York State that converted its, um, you know, manufacturing from I, I forget what it was, but over over to masks in like four days. It took them four days to yeah, convert I'll... their whole, you know, assembly line or whatever into, you know, making from making their old products and now they're making masks. So. Yeah, it's not like you're going from you're not making uh, computers to making re-entry vehicles for NASA. <laughs> you know, right? It's not, it's not a big yeah. retooling effort. But it's like they said, they started saying, well, they're not they're more effective at preventing other people getting sick. Well, then, you know, why do they need them in hospitals as, as much, you know? And, um, and if the social distancing worked, they said droplets, you, get, you pretty much got three feet right. that travel, unless you're really yep. putting it out. Blowing and it. that's why they say six yeah. feet give you the extra, you know? Right. And then, um, but... Why, uh, I mean, I guess in this day and age, maybe they should always have, I mean, it's the one thing we should always have some extra of every year. Should manufacture a yeah. bunch of, a shitload of gloves and a shitload right. of, oh, just white gloves, maybe just wash them. Can you wash them maybe? And, um, and masks too, why can't, I mean, 
Is it possible you can rewash the mask? And if they get moist, they say they don't work as much. They're moist. I know. I mean, they got to be yeah. work better than nothing at all. So as soon as there's an outbreak, put everyone in mask and gloves, and then should shut it down. Sure. Yeah. I mean, at least reduce the incidence. Put everyone in it. Just say, boom, that's it. And they do it for a couple of weeks, and you're fine. You know. Yeah. Shut. Okay. Yeah. Then, you know, and it, oh, you, you know, do that. But we don't have enough of those. You just give them out. Now, instead of having all these tests, you know, they, how much would it cost for, I mean, the test costs, what, $50? $100? Right. Originally, it was $3,200. <clears throat> how many masks and gloves could you buy for that much? Oh, yeah. Um, and I just bought a box of gloves off Amazon for 11 bucks Because... Uh, to like op just open the mail and stuff, you know, open boxes that are coming to the house and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, oh, you got a lot so coming can... in, right? What's that? You got a lot coming in. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff coming in. And, you know, I'm up constantly open boxes and stuff. And they're saying, you know, they're finding people in those Amazon fulfillment centers with, with the coronavirus on. So, yeah. you know. So, well, yeah. But it's crazy. I, I, it, a lot of things to think about. In the beginning, if they thought that the warm weather was going to affect this, then we would have been in the clear long ago because it hasn't been moderately cool here for a month and a half. Yeah. I mean, we get plenty of sunlight, no rain, and all that still. So, I mean, that kind of puts the kibosh on that. And Yeah. Uh, with um, the one thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if you've considered it, in in um we're uh, primarily a tourist economy down here and we have uh you know the restaurants the you know and all these other services mm -hmm. the the dive boats the fishing boats the uh whatever you want to call it, parasailing jet ski rentals uh hotels uh everything the little gift shops uh snack bars Everything, and then you have the people that service those other uh, people too, and so yeah. sixty percent of the economy is dependent on tourism. And okay, now they yeah. passed they passed the stimulus package, but the only people that are going to be able to uh, have anything uh, from that are people that are documented, really. Yeah, and there's a shit that I mean. No matter how you slice it, I mean, they never figure it out. People don't want to fucking, they want their all-you-can-eat fish fry and stuff like that. Well, you, you know what? That only works when you have a $5 an hour guy that gets paid under the table who doesn't have any papers. Right. Or, you know, or a cleaning crew that's Guatemalan. Mm -hmm. And and, and the, these restaurant staffs, they run it heavy 30%. 30% uh could be down here and 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 yeah people get high on their hog about undocumented people but th the tourist economy would crash if they left sure and they're not you know they're they're not getting any money i mean they're dependent oh, they're no. dependent on their friends they're a tight community though i bet they're helping yeah. out and i i think about them too so the restaurants uh the restaurant I know helped out. They get, made sure to you know donate a lot of food, but there's going to be the end of the day. They they have to pay rent too. Sure. I mean, they got to pay rent. They got to pay their kids. Hi. Hey, hey, Lizzie. Hi. All right. What? I you know this social distance thing. I have no idea what's going on. Did you guys crack a drink yet? Are you? It's already seven o'clock. <laughs> Oh, she just came in from walking the dog. Oh, uh, hold on. Sorry about that. Shutting the door. One second. Yeah. Are you being um, attacked by your we, dog? We did, we did some drinking yesterday. Um, uh -huh. We're kind of taking it easy today. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, well, we, we, we grilled out in the backyard, so we, we had some things while we were doing that, and then, uh, you know. We're probably going to grill out again tomorrow, so we'll have some drinks tomorrow. But uh, yeah, uh, Abby's Abby's finding project for me. I, we just we're painting our vestibule and a door. I was I was sanding that stuff, 
and um, she just has she she's making sure I'm not uh, uh, idle. You know, gotcha. Idle time, and then I do yeah. spend my time. I go to my I go to my meetings. I did spend a little time talking about uh, being sober. Right. And how you know for some people it might be difficult. Not not talking about people without problems. You guys, but the people that go to meetings. Uh, the kind of meetings I go to, they may find it difficult during these times. They can't meet. A lot of the places where they meet are closed and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, luckily, you know that uh, yeah, have social media. You have uh, Zoom. You have all these things where people can FaceTime and do all mm -hmm. so sorts of things. Is chat roulette anything anymore? Did you ever hear his chat roulette? Say that again. Chat roulette. You ever hear that? No. It used to be like a, a really kind of gross dating thing where you, oh. meet, you, you just, you, you don't pick the person you're going to talk to. It kind of just comes up. That's why they call it oh. chat roulette. I gotcha. And it, I, I remember a story. Some of the guys says, you know, you, you think it'll be talking to a hot girl. And then all of a sudden there's some uh, chubby guy on yeah. uh, the camera with no pants on right. playing with himself. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, <laughs> I, I, I guess that died, you know, after too many people did that, you know, they, how, how can you be catfished anymore? How's that possible? Right. I mean, right. how can you not see a picture of someone? I mean, if someone started and, and not that I should be doing that, I see, I, I know on Facebook, if I see, if a friend uh, request and it's only one picture of somebody and it's some attractive uh, woman, which is uh, right. weird. I guess they, I guess my image is not of a guy that's attractive to the guy. Not that there's anything wrong with it. But <laughs> I, I, and there's one picture I go, well, this isn't even a real person, you know? And they go, right. and you look at the description and they're saying they're from Malaysia. And they said, yeah. they don't even say, they put that in as a man, a male. They didn't even go to trouble. They didn't even go to trouble picking the right gender. So, uh, yeah. So right, right now, I mean, it's just good. I digress with the meetings. If you have meetings, you got they got online meetings and all that stuff for people, people like me. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the economy. So, uh, it, it's uh, it's tanking right now. Uh, yeah. Luckily, it's a weekend. And I'm not an expert on it, but. I realize that we're very quarterly and day to day on how we uh, envision investing, right? And people sure. dump, and we and uh, I remember a couple of years ago that these trading houses were installing really high speed lines, so their computers have uh, a millionth of a second advantage mm -hmm. to be able to do these block trades or whatever they call. Sure. And I was thinking that if you could uh, invigorate and incentivize long range investment, yeah. it's an, instead of uh, making it, uh, you know, making it so di disincentivizing short, short range, saying like if you buy right. and sell quickly that you take a hit, maybe pay a penalty. Right. And people that hang on right. to things uh, end up paying less of a penalty. And yeah. to, to set a two, five, and 10 year strategy for investing, mm -hmm. where I, I know that's counter capitalistic, but I mean, it's not socialistic because I'm still talking about trade. Right. But I think a lot of time, if you think of day trading and these automated trains and, and these uh, investment houses, I don't know if that even that. The thing anymore is the small investors they go and dump you know when we had the lo largest losses in the history of the market coming up and then people coming in after the stimulus package passed then uh it coming back a largest gain and then another mm -hmm. yesterday was a, a big drop when people started seeing that it's going to take a little longer than this uh uh, April 15th arbitrary date picked by uh, uh, the, the orange guy because, you know, of course, Easter 
Easter, it's going to be fabulous. We've, it's, we've been oh, through yeah. everything that no one's been through before, and it's going to be beautiful. The church is going to be filled. There's going to be lots of Easter baskets, sure. whatever the fuck he's saying now, right now. Oh, yeah. So he called some guy a cutie Ridiculous. pie yesterday at his, uh, at his uh, press conference because he was asking about... He did? Yeah, he was asking about ventilators. He says, well, how yeah. about the ventilators? He goes like, hey, listen here, cutie pie. Really? Yeah, yeah. What? And he called the mayor of Michigan. He goes, that woman in Michigan. <laughs> so. I can't take it. I just, I don't, I can't even listen to him. I, I know, yeah, I know. I just, There's, uh, the NPR I, stopped carrying his uh, conferences because they, they just said yeah. uh, the um, <laughs> amount of testing said there was per capita was higher than, and, and it turned out Italy and and Korea were doing more testing than we were per capita. Right. But uh, right. there's nothing like a crisis to bring out the asshole in people. <laughs> and, we saw, and we saw it here with that hoarding stuff. When we come back to hoarding, we're going to finish up. Because uh, you follow movies, and you're good with movies. I have, so think about these disaster movies. I'm going to give you some time, Steve. Okay? And yeah. The, the, Whenever that happens, there's always one of the characters that doesn't behave right. They they either turn right. into an evil, selfish bastard or a panicky, uh, nervous Nelly. Um, oh, Bill Paxton in Aliens. Right. No, but in the end, in the very end, he, you know, he, uh, he bucked up and he... You know, he, 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 he was fine. But he was always, like, freaking out in that one, you know? Right. And uh, Billy, uh, Billy Zane in Titanic. Yeah. You know, jumping on the boat, on the, on the life raft. Right. The mayor, the mayor in Jaws. Now, he was one of these assholes that decided, well, we, you know, hey, the, we, this is our biggest, uh, you know, from... The July Fourth weekend and, and all that stuff is where we make forty percent of our money. <laughs> you know? Right. And and Matt Damon in Interstellar. Now, he, you know, they're, they're trying to save mankind. Did you see Interstellar? No, I heard it was good though. Okay, I didn't want to give it. Oh God, give it away. <laughs> Matt Damon, he's one of the guys that came up with this program where they're going to look out for these habitable planets. Yeah. Right. And then he just starts panicking when he's, you know, decides he doesn't want to be isolated by himself, and he lures in. <laughs> he he lures. It's not. It's part of the story. It's not the story, but yeah, he doesn't hold up well. But there's got to be other characters you think about, even in some of these old disaster movies. There's people that just they lead people on oh, beside an adventure. Sure. Did you see that? I don't think I've seen that. Okay, at one point of Poseidon Adventure, Gene Hackman is a like a a defrocked minister, and he's leading them to the bottom of the ship because it capsized, right? And the oh, ship okay. is capsized, okay. so he has to take them to the bottom so they're closer to get near the server, so they're going to cut a hole. You know, the rescuers would cut it out, and the people on the he ran when they were leaving. He they crossed passengers going to the wrong. They're going the other direction. Uh, they're going to the top of the ship, which is underwater. Right. And, and they ended up dying. But the, the, that guy, there's always like someone making the wrong decision out of like, you know, go to this exit. And that's where everyone dies in a fire. So and uh, right. But, but we have that. We have that now. We see them panicking. We've seen those people that went up to the highway uh, last week. Yeah. Um, Tell people to leave. What well, what was that image? What do you have? We had people out there, you know, go home, you know, yet right. cursing at people and stuff like that. And some of the people coming into town were people that lived here. They were getting yeah. yelled. Right. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of um, there was a uh, a Seinfeld episode where uh, George Costanza. Is it a children's birthday party? Yeah, and there's and, a clown there. And the, <laughs> and, the, and the clown was there, and the, 
And the apartment caught on fire or something. There's a Costanza. kitchen. There was a fire in the kitchen. Yeah, and yeah. Costanza just starts pushing kids out of the way to, to get out. Yeah. <laughs> Not, He's backing kids and women over to, and running yeah, out. Yeah, he thinks that he pushes someone kid by the head, knocks an old lady out of her walker, pushes her. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. That's that's uh, George Costanza. They were just very poor. and I think we. Uh, that's a nice thing about a crisis is that you see the people that contribute. The people are saying, "Okay, I'm going to do my part." There's the people that. Um, uh, volunteered up at St. Justin's Church. They were handling they were handling out uh, care packages to some of the families. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. bread, food, butter, and all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of things take to hit. Like I talk about the undocumented, but then we have a lot of people that are in um, that are food insecure down here. And there's uh, Burt Memorial down here does. Uh, they have a, a kitchen that's open for people. And oh, I don't yeah. know how that, you know, I should go and Since I'm off, I should go and volunteer there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, they, I mean, the, the people, I mean, who's looking out for the, the people that normally are? Yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm. There's some people out there, they don't really give a shit. You know, if you're homeless, it's your fault. You know, that's, I, I understand the theory behind it. Right. I don't get it when it's uh, attached to a religious thing, like they're not doing anything about it. <laughs> yeah. I right. I hey, you could be a cold, heartless asshole, but don't pretend to be do that religious shit. Um, well, you know, we've done the fifty minutes. I think I mostly I mostly did the talking. So I wanted to say, what are your plans for the rest uh, tomorrow, Sunday? Yeah. What do you do with your whole day now? Um, yeah, tomorrow we'll probably go uh, do a little kayaking in the morning um, over at my parents' house up the, up the street here. Uh, uh -huh. That's you know a good form of social distancing. <laughs> uh -huh. And then uh, and then uh, yeah you know and then we'll fire up the grill in the afternoon and probably just have some beers and that'll be about it. You know. Oh, yeah. What about you? We're we're well like I said we're still going to paint. Uh, uh, Abby's yeah. got remodeling ideas for me so. Um, well, luckily I don't have a lot of other things to do, so it's not like I can, you know, when someone has work for me to do, what else? I mean, this is, this is what I do now. I get up, I, I, I like biking. We got the bikes, so I go and do the bikes. And I like, do some baking. I'm going to go and, uh, right now I'm probably going to go and make my, I'm going to make dinner. Right. Uh -huh. now. And then tomorrow I'll get up. I, I have one question for you. What? Um, what, what's going on with the catch? Are they not doing takeout? No. No. Is that uh, Kathy just doesn't want to deal with it, or it's not enough to maintain? Uh, you know, oh. it, it, it's a it's a it's a money losing enterprise. Gotcha. Uh, the people that are doing it right now, I think some of them are running out their stock. Yeah. Uh, some of them have enough business for it. Maybe you know they're doing it because they're you know they they're they got family members working and stuff like that. I'll tell you, there's some places mm -hmm. doing, they're already set up for that, like these food trucks. Sure. They're, I mean, they already were takeout, so they didn't have to change their business model at all. Yeah, that barbecue truck across from the catch is going gangbusters right now. Oh, it is? Okay, good. That, yeah. Yeah. And, um, and what the president say? People say, well, what do you say to the people at the restaurants? You know, there are a lot of restaurants, uh, they're not going to be able to open when they come back. And he goes, well... A lot of those restaurants will be open again, maybe under new owners. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. the point of that? Okay. A lot of people, a lot of people are going to lose their houses here. And he goes, oh, there'll be people living in the houses. Maybe not those people. <laughs> yeah. I'm so half know, backwards. He goes, well, we, we won't have a, what if they, we don't have a president this year, uh, next year? We're going to have a president next year. It's probably not going to be the same president we have this year. You like how I made that up there? <laughs> I like that. Yeah, me too. Okay, hey, we're going to, uh, Tina has a couple words to say here. Let me see if it comes out, okay? I don't know if okay. it works on the sure. here. You're an asshole!
asshole. I don't know if you can hear that. I played it. I don't hear it. Okay. And one more time. Maybe it's for you. You're an asshole. Well, listen, I want to thank you for coming on the show, you and Lizzie. Uh, we'll do it uh, again, maybe uh, Tuesday or something like that. Is that all right? Uh, yeah, that'll probably work. Tuesday? I'll check with you on Monday then. I'm going to do one Tuesday okay, anyway. Good. Okay? Sounds good. Okay. I'll talk to you. Uh, Take care. All right. Do yeah. my best to Liz. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Yep. Bye-bye. Wait a second. This is Jim the Keys bartender. I'd like to thank anybody who's listening. Uh, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if I will post ahead of time the next time we do a live show. And uh, so if you want to, you just get on Spreaker and you can uh, chat with us. So you can send us a message. Talk to you later. Bye. That's loud.